Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. A few weeks ago on 4th of July I shaved my berries and cream, tres leches, dessert cups. You guys absolutely love that recipe and I got tons of requests to make a coffee tres leches cake. So today is the day. We're going to start things out with a coffee flavored sponge cake. Going to soak the layers with a coffee flavored milk syrup and frost the cake with a coffee whipped cream. You guys are going to love this recipe. It's really light and fluffy and every bite just melts into your mouth with loads of coffee flavor. For the sponge cake I'm going to start out with nine large eggs and I've brought these up to room temperature and add in one cup of white granulated sugar and then mix these on high speed for about seven to eight minutes until the eggs are really light and fluffy and pale in color. To add coffee flavor to the sponge cake I'm going to dissolve one tablespoon of instant coffee. It's two tablespoons of boiling water Give that a stir. Once the eggs have reached the right consistency, go ahead and add the coffee. And whisk this for another 30 seconds. And onto my dry ingredients, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to add half a cup of almond flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to sift the dry ingredients into the egg batter. Add a little bit at a time and then fold gently but thoroughly after each addition. Make sure you're scraping from the bottom of the bowl to get all the flour incorporated. You'll need to line two eight inch baking pans with parchment paper, but don't grease the sides, otherwise the sponge cake will collapse on itself. And then I'm going to divide the batter evenly between the two pans. I have my oven preheated to 330 degrees Fahrenheit. The cake layers will bake for about 35 minutes. You want the top to be nicely set and golden brown. Then go ahead and take the cake layers out of the oven, let them cool completely on a wire rack. We'll come back to make our coffee syrup and our coffee whipped cream and assemble the cake. For the coffee syrup, I've measured out half a cup of milk. I just heat it up in the microwave until it's warm for about 30 seconds. I'm going to dissolve one teaspoon of instant coffee. And then to that, add in half a cup of sweetened condensed milk and half a cup of evaporated milk and stir that all together. And now onto my coffee cream. So I've softened eight ounces of cream cheese. You can also use mascarpone cheese. I'm going to add half a cup of white granulated sugar to that. And I've dissolved one tablespoon of instant coffee with two tablespoons of boiling water. Add that in as well. And I'm just going to cream this all together. Then pour in two cups of heavy cream. You want to make sure that it's really nice and cold so that it whips up nicely. And whisk this on medium speed until you get stiff peaks. Once your cake layers are cooled, you want to grab a long serrated knife and split each layer in half. So we'll have four layers total. And to assemble the cake, I'm first going to very generously soak each sponge cake with the milk and coffee syrup that we prepared. Just take a pastry brush and brush it right on. It's going to sink into the cake really well. It's going to add lots of flavor and moisture. Top that off with a generous amount of the coffee whipped cream. Take a flat spatula and spread it evenly to the edges. And top that off with the next layer. We're going to repeat that same process for the whole cake. and then finish up the cake by frosting the top and sides. I transferred my remaining cream into a disposable pastry bag and I'm just using a simple round tip today. We're gonna finish the top off with some dollops of cream.
Finish the cake off with a light dusting of cocoa powder over the top. And you can also add some whole coffee beans to the top. And let's take a peek inside the cake. You'll want to grab a sharp serrated knife and gently slice the cake. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So many amazing flavors. And that's it guys for my coffee tres leches cake. Absolutely love how stunning and beautiful it came out. I mean, check out those layers. Now, if you're making this at home, I do recommend placing it into the refrigerator. Let it chill there overnight or at least for about six hours. You want that syrup to sink through the sponge cake layers and you want that whipped cream to set up nicely. Time to dig in and enjoy this. And it just smells so good. Mmm. I think I've just died and gone to cake heaven. This cake is beyond delicious. It is heavenly, divine, and you guys are gonna go crazy over it. I love the combination of those moist sponge cake layers. They're flavored with coffee. You have the coffee syrup, coffee whipped cream, and you have the ultimate coffee cake. If you love coffee, you have to try this cake. Head down into my video description box. I'll have a link there. It'll take you over to my blog where you can print it off, save it to Pinterest, and share it with your family and friends. This cake is just so light. I think you could probably eat half the cake and not even realize it. It's that good and delicious. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.